Hello everyone. Let's deal with this Sodic Olympiad mathematics. We have square root of x plus 8 plus square root of x plus 1 equal to 7. This is simple, right? Because we can just, you know, take the square or square both sides. As we have square root of x plus 8 plus square root of x plus 1, these will be squared together, and then we have 7 squared. And by the way, do you remember this? If you have a plus b squared, this is the same thing as a squared plus 2ab my okay plus b squared right yes this is how it is now i'm going to apply the same thing here in place of a i have square root of x plus 8 and this will be squared then plus 2 a is square root of x plus 8 and then b is square root of x plus 1 then plus b squared which will now be square root of x plus 1 and then i square this and this is equal to 49 because of 7 squared now from here what can i do this and this will be gone so we have x plus 8 then plus 2 right and then i have um, open bracket square root of x plus 8 plus square root of x plus 1 plus this and this will be gone and I have x plus 1 equal to 49. Now what should I do? I want to take everything to the right apart from this. So I have to open bracket square root of x plus 8 open bracket square root of x plus 1 which will now be equal to 49 right then I have 8 over here so I'm going to write um, I'm going to write 8 over here so I have um, negative 8 right and then this is um, negative 1 as well right then this is x, we have negative x, and this x again turns to negative x. So this is what we have. Now we have 2 into bracket square root of x plus 8. Then multiply by square root of x plus 1. Right? And it will be equal to 48 minus 8. 49 minus 8 is one, um, 41. Minus 1 is 40. Then minus x minus x is minus 2x. Okay, if you have understood to this extent, please um, subscribe to this channel and um, give me a thumbnail, right? Um, what do I mean? Give me a thumb up, right? Thank you. Now, from here, what can we do? Why don't we divide both sides by 2? Divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. This goes with this, right? So we have square root of x plus 8 multiplied by square root of x plus 1 and this is equal to 20 minus x. Simple, isn't it? Very well. And um, the next thing we are going to do is to, you know, multiply this and this. And by the way, do you know that both of them can be under the same square sign? So we have x plus 8 multiplying by x plus 1 under the same square root sign. This is now equal to 20 minus x, right? Okay, I'm very sure you're learning. Now, the next thing I can do is to square both sides. And I'm squaring both sides so that this and this will go. But I still need to square this, but nothing to cancel from here right and then from here i have x plus 8 x plus 1 being equal to i can open this right 
Okay, let's expand it to 20 minus x. And then I have 20 minus x as well because of the square. Now x times x is x squared. x times 1, that will give plus x. 8 times x, that will give plus 8x. And then 8 times 1, that will give plus 8. And this will be equal to 20 times 20 is 400. Then 20 times minus x is minus 20x. x times 20 minus x times 20 is minus 20x. And minus x times minus x is plus x uh, squared. Okay, I hope everything is um, not out of sight. Now, from here, what can we do? We have x squared here and we have it over here. It's gone. So that x plus x is giving us 9x plus 8 and it will be equal to 400 minus 40x because of this and this. Now what can I do? Rearrange. 9x plus 40x is equal to 400 minus 8. Now we have 49x to be equal to 392 because 400 minus 8 is 392, right? Thank you for being there and I hope you're still learning. Now, the next thing we can do is to divide by 49 and divide this by 49. This and this gone and x will be equal to 392 divided by 49 and it gives us 8. So this means that the value of x is 8. By the way, what is the original equation? We have root x plus 2 rather root x plus 8 plus root x plus 1 equals 7. Let's confirm this quickly. This means that we will be having root 8 plus 8 then plus root 8 plus 1. 8 plus 8 is giving 16 then this is going to give 9, right? And then 16, square root of 16 is 4 plus square root of 9 is 3, right? And 4 plus 3 is definitely giving us 7. And this is to confirm that we are having the same thing on the right hand side. So we are very correct to say that x is equal to 18. Thank you for watching and if you're still there, please subscribe to this channel and keep learning. Thank you.